Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to look in on the cocoon only bins. And it's been nearly a year, hard to believe, that we started these. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you think I should split the bin? What do you think I should do with these guys? I'm going to feed them up today, but uh, leave your comments below. Put them in a bigger bin, split the bin, whatever things you guys can imagine. All right. Let's take the lids off and see what they're this doing. This is the red wiggler bin. So let's just see what these little guys are doing. It's been quite a long time since I've looked in on them. I think it might even be like a month. It smells nice and earthy. Worms are good size now. Not finding any of the food that I fed last time yet. I suppose there's still a chance, but I think it's been a month since we've looked in on these guys. So, kind of doubt there's any food left. But they are certainly starting to finish up this. Uh, bedding and whatnot. Starting to look pretty good in here. Just look one more even flipping here just to see what's going on. Well there's no food. That much we know. And uh, after a year, I think I'm gonna call these bags not compostable. They haven't even haven't even flinched here. Although we still have uh, a worm in the bag, so now I feel weird about I can't take it out of there because there could be worms in there. All right. Well, today we've had a loaf of bread go bad, so I soaked it in some water, and that is what we're gonna feed them. So I'm just going to toss that in, kind of spread it out a little bit. I've discovered that if I soak it in water before I feed it to them, it doesn't turn into a giant brick. And that certainly helps because bread can be kind of problematic that way. And I'm just going to put the bedding back over the top of it and then we can move on to the next okay, bin. Here we go. We have the European night crawlers. I think they've been working a little bit more. That looks like pure castings here on top. And they're getting to be some good sized wormies. Let's dig in there and see if I can find any food. Considering how well they worked over the bedding on the top, I doubt it. Moisture still on the, the wet side of what I'd like to see. Probably just leave the lids off here for a couple days and see if that doesn't help out. But even though it's really wet, it smells decent. You know, it doesn't smell funky or anything. In my opinion, I think the worm density in here still could go a ways. I don't, I don't think it needs to move, not in my opinion anyway. But if you guys think that, if you'd like to see these guys get into a different experiment or something, otherwise I just might leave them. Well, they have been all fluffed up and now we can feed them their bread. I know, even though they're not babies anymore, I'm still babying them by making the bread wet first. Spread that around a little bit. Get some castings and flip them over onto it. Alright, well, that's it for the cocoon only bins. 
you guys liked the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing before I do it, or when I'm doing it, or absolutely as I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, well thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody, have a good day.